very happy Wildcat New Year. Because this Friday, we play the league championship game with you, Mr. Troy Bolden, lead us to infinity and beyond. Hallelujah! I 
Big Love in Room 213, and then reverse and alternate their schedules for the rest of the winter quarter. The Skydiving Club will be meeting them at 3 p.m. on the roof deck, and the Thursday Club will be waiting for them in the parking lot below. <laughs> Off and out, peeps. Albuquerque. I can't believe you live here. 
here too. I looked at you at the last and knew you'd stay, but... <coughs> we had to leave first thing. Why are you whispering? <coughs> oh, well, I told my friends I went snowboarding, but I didn't actually tell them about the, you know, singing thing. Too much for them to handle? It was cool, but my friends, that's not what I do. That was like a different person. Well, pretty crazy, right? Meeting up again like this. Hey, I was going to call you like a bunch of times. And? And, well, oh, you know, I mean, you know. You well, chicken out? Kinda. Cool. Hey, now I make Darvish the range. I bet you can't wait to sign up for the show. <laughs> I won't be signing up for anything here for a while. I just want to get used to the school first. But if you sign up, I'd consider coming to the show. That's completely impossible. I wouldn't think it possible this evening in your vocabulary, Troy. So nice of you to show our new cat around. <coughs> Troy is such a sweetheart, isn't he? He's the star of the basketball team, just like I'm the star of the drama club. We're perfect for each other, don't you think? Are we having lunch together, Troy? Oh, look, the sound is for the musical. Oh, were you going to sign up too? I'm sure we could find something for you. The ugly old nose is lots of fun. No, no, I was just looking over the bulletin board. Lots going on at this school. Wow, nice penmanship. I miss you during vacation, Troy. So what you do? Basketball, snowboarding, uh, more basketball. Oh, gotta go, practicing all. You're so dedicated, just like me. I hope you come and watch me in the musical, Troy. Promise? Maybe it's my hair. Hey, Wildcats! It's quest time again, and this one goes out from Vinny Ichikua to the person who took the air out of his tires. And it seems we have another request, and it goes something like this. Troy Bowden, get your butt to basketball practice on the double, or you're grounded for a week. And remember, the chain is the strongest, weakest link. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going! Guess you know one, huh? Right. I want ten minutes of weave drills. What are you doing? <coughs> Drop and give me five. <laughs> Press ups. Sunday coach. Hey, you know that school musical thing? Pretty cool that Darby's gonna educate just for this. What? You think the Brian James and Shaquille O'Neal ever auditioned for their school musical? But you know, like, get some great musical cards, you know. You know what'd be better? I think that basketball Scott should that one. You're the team captain, Bona. Get your head in the game. Man, your dad's tough. All right, let's kick it in. Run the shuffle through. Cold sector, take right and break left. Watch out for the feet and keep your eyes clear. Kind of gonna give me go, cause I'm going to hold. And don't be afraid, she's the outside, Jake. Ah, keep your hands in the game. Ah, keep your hands in the game. And don't be afraid, she's the outside, Jake. Get your hands in the game. Why am I fading 
so wrong. You've got to ask yourself, is your head in the game? My head's in the game, but my heart's in the song. What's it gonna be? Makes me feel so right. Shall I go for it? Better set this. Thanks. <laughs> You have two minutes to solve this relationship between energy and principal quantum number before you grasp, give it your best shot. extra brain or something. So, why do you think she's interested in our musical? She's interested in Troy, Bart boy. Look, I need you to pen those pronouns and tell us offer ASAP, okay? No problem, boss, but why am I doing that? There's no harm in making certain that Gabriella is welcome in the school activities that are appropriate for her. You know, the ones that keep her far away from Troy Bolton. <laughs> So all you will do is better get your butts to the feeder immediately. Or face the wrath of Darvis the Merciless. Until later, this is Jack Scott. Signing off. Often use animals, how to 
Sharp is a cool, I guess. The sharp A, maybe. But what about you? Me? Yes, unless you want to live the rest of your life in the shadow of your sister's office. Not yet, just wait, my friend. <laughs> Two star players. Can't have them acting like idiots when they're meant to get practice. They were not acting like idiots, they were acting like actors. If Troy and Chad were theater performers instead of athletes, would you see preference between them for them? I think not. Darvis, we are days away from the biggest game of the year. And we, Bolton, are in the midst of auditions for our winter youth camp. This school is about more than sweaty young men in bag shorts flinging balls for buckets. Baskets. The Westside Knights have knocked out the players for the past three years. Yes, and despite your track record of defeat, the school will still see fit to allocate ten times the amount of money to the athletics as it does to the arts program. Win, lose, it doesn't matter. I'm teaching these kids about how to have a goal, about teamwork, something they can use when they're adults. Which is precisely what happened to my twins and then. How about making them scream at the top of their voices? Bit of sign! Crackpot! Get your vocal cords ready, D. 
dudes. This is Jack Scat signing off. In five, four, three, two, and one.
I was hoping you both, you know, eh. we do the part. Kelsey, Kelsey, darling. I've been in 17 school productions, and let's see. Hmm. How many shows have you been in? This will be the first. Which tells us that I need to write you more solos? No. It tells us that you do not offer direction, suggestion, or commentary. And that you should be thankful that Brian and I are here to lift your music out of its current obscurity. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. I mean, sharp head. Nice talking to you. Love the glasses. <laughs> <coughs> No, I just came to give you that mouth support. You're auditioning, right? No. Your friends don't know you're here, do they? Right. You're not afraid, are you? Hey, I'm used to your attention. You're one who's afraid, not me. I'm not afraid. R2. Am not. R2. Am not. R2. Am not. Oh yeah? Prove it. Get up there and show them what you can do. Don't be afraid. I'll be right here. I'd like to audition the Starbucks. Oh, I'm sorry, my dear, but time means everything in the one theatre. But I I'm don't... sorry, the individual auditions are locked over. And while there's nobody to audition with you, the lead role. Miss Starbucks, I um oh boy. I mean, I'll sing with her. Troy Bolton, where's your sports posse or whatever it's called? <laughs> Team. But well, I'm here alone. Actually. I'm here to sing with her. Yes, well, I take these shows just as seriously as your father takes his practices. I call for the Juliet and Romeo auditions. You didn't respond. We're simply out of time. You're out of luck, Jack. Sure. <laughs> you wrote that song Ron Shaw Page just saying? Uh-huh. And the entire show? Uh-huh. How long did it take you to write it? About two years. I get up every morning before school at five. And I'm still working on the finale. Wow, that's amazing. So why are you afraid of Sharpay? It's your show. It is. Hello. Thank you. Isn't the writer for musical like the playmaker in basketball? Playmaker. The person that makes everyone else look good. Without you, the reason no show. You're the playmaker, Kelsey. I am. You want to hear how the song's supposed to sound? <coughs> wow, that's really nice. It starts out playing. Go ahead, you first. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see. Nice. You were always there beside me. Now you thought I was alone with no one to hold now together. But you were always there beside me. This feeling's like no other. I want you to know. I want you to Like you, like you. 
gone wild in an unprecedented response to Troy Bowen's callback to the school musical. One skater dude just caught see mixing in with the school band string section. Oh, the humanity. The humanity. <laughs> about the thing thing. You worried? My parents' friends always say, your son is the basketball guy. You must be so proud. But sometimes, I don't want to be that basketball guy anymore. I just want to be, you know, me. I saw how you treated Kelsey at the auditions yesterday. Do your friends know that part of you? Are you kidding? To them, I'm the playmaker dude. Then, they don't know enough about each other. Playmaker, that's such an odd phrase. How about Allegra? That's pretty wet. Um, I think you mean algebra. Right, totally wet. At my other schools, I was the freaky math girl. That's all they ever thought I was. Always pointing at me and whispering behind my back. They made me feel like I was a freak, and I hated it. That's why I want to keep a low profile here, so I can, you know, just be me. But you can't stop me from what you want to do. I mean, you can't even stop me from what you want to do. Right, Hannah? That's easy for you to say. You're the big basketball star. You love the spotlight. I prefer to hang up with a good book. Hiding? No. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Remember in kindergarten, you'd meet a kid, and then 10 seconds later, you'd be best friends because you didn't have to be anything but yourself? Yeah. Singing with you felt like that, like safe, you know? I never thought about a singing thing, that's for sure. When I look in your eyes, I know it could be anyone who wants me. So, you really want to do the callbacks? <coughs> oh, that's cool. I guess I don't want to either. No, I'm in. Really? Really? Hey, just call me the freaking callback boy. <laughs> you're a cool guy, Troy, but not for the reasons your friends do. <coughs> You never know what you're gonna feel You never see it coming suddenly it's real That you've been there all along. I can't take my 
going on. Thanks for showing me your top secret hiding place. <coughs> Just like kindergarten. Fever smile. Hey, Shafi, now that Troy's gonna be in your show. Troy Bolton is not in my show. Oh, okay then. Did you like the cake a bit for you? No, he doesn't go in my pants. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. I was wondering, would you like to come and see me play ball sometime? Hmm. I'd rather suck the mucus from a doctor's nostrils into the skull cave then. <coughs> that doesn't sound very appetizing. Wouldn't you like some nice creme lay or tatisu or tiramisu? <coughs> tiramisu? What'd I say tiramisu for? It's the only way to save Troy and Gabriella from themselves. So what you're saying is, the individual must be sacrificed for the goodness of the whole. That's so very Karl Marx. Works for me. We'll grab Troy in the locker room. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, you grab Gabriella exactly 1,600 hours. Whatever, just work him until... Troy Bolt is my best friend. I know how to push all his buttons. Just remember, the line of communication is crucial to the successful deployment of this COVID operation. I didn't know you could say that many syllables in one sentence. I'm impressed. Thanks. Been working on it all night. My wife says 1,300 hours. Are we synchronized? Save it for Charlie's angels, Chad. I will pour on me. I love it when you speak German. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. <laughs> Something isn't right. The jocks and the brainiac mingling in study hall? The jocks rule most of the school. If they get Troy into the musical, then he'd conquer the entire student body. And if the brainiacs get Gabriella hooked up with Troy Bolton, the science club goes from Joel to Cole. And Troy will be hers forever. Brian, we need to save our show from people who don't know the difference between a Tony Award and a Tony Soprano. But how? Darvis. I have a plan. Oh, don't even go there, short pay. I'll tell Darvis that Troy and his dad want to sabotage our auditions because she gave him a detention. But you'll never believe that. She'll believe anything I tell her because I'm the president of the drama club. Yeah, but the president's not supposed to lie, short pay. And the vice president's supposed to smile, zip it, and do what I tell him to do. All right? Now come on. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right, Bolton. 
Don't play dumb with me, Bolton. I'm not playing. Some very reliable sources told me all about your little plot to humiliate me and the drama club. And I'm telling you, it ain't the plot. Save the speeches for the stage. <coughs> if you and your all-star son are planning some kind of practical joke in my chapter of the art... Troy doesn't even sing! <coughs> well, I guess you don't know your son as well as you think you do. Because I won't allow Juliet and Romeo be made into a box. Juliet and Romeo? See? I knew it! Very well, Bolton, you leave me no choice. If Troy is actually serious about auditioning, I guess you don't have to prove it. But I won't allow either one of you to make fools out of the drum club. Hey, you don't need me to do that. Don't! I'm your son. I thought you'd get him, Troy. Rock again, I guess. Oh, no, that's about. Got something to tell me about him? About singing? Um. No, I mean. Oh, well, you know. No, I don't. Dad was a deranged chew my head out. Because you think you blood in something. I was just helping someone audition. It was nothing. You bet it's nothing. You got the biggest game of your life coming up in two days. Get your head in the game for real, Bolden. Team's dependent on you. I was going to stay away from my people. Well, as soon as you was late for practice again, it's the least you can do. Wow. So, this is your real stage? I guess you can call it that, or just a uh, smelly gym. Whoa, don't tell me you're good at hoops too. I won score 41 points in a league championship game. <laughs> no way. Yeah, the same day I invented the PlayStation and the iPod. Okay. I've been rehearsing with Kelsey. I know, me too. And I was late for practice. So if I get kicked off the team, it should be in your conscience. Hey, I... Gabby, chill. I'm sorry, miss. This is a closed practice. The practice is over. Not until the last team player leaves the gym. The team rules. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Dad, this is Gabby at Montana. Your detention, buddy. Gabriella, take the nation that I brought away. Pip up away. See you later, Troy. Nice to meet you, Coach Paul. Goodbye. Tension was my fault, not her. You haven't missed practicing in three years. That girl shows up and you're late twice. That girl's name's Gabrielle, and she's very nice. Making you miss practice doesn't make her very nice. Not in my book or your team's. Championship games are something special. A lot of things are special. You screw this up, you regret it for the rest of your life. You mean like you? You're a playmaker, Bolden. Not a singer. Do you think maybe I could even be both of them? <laughs> my name's Troy there, not Bolton. <laughs>
means nothing to me. Gabby means nothing to me. I forget her. Forget your audition and we go get that championship. Everybody happy now? Yeah! yeah! Troy? Troy Benson? Troy, since the you. Gabby, what's going on? Guess what? I don't want to see the combats either. Who are we kidding? You've got your team and now I've got my team. You go win your championship game, I'll do the science decathlon. It's where we belong. Go Wildcats. Blood, Me you... either. Goodbye. Square. It's a classic. Why do I have to do what you say? Maybe because I know what I'm doing. Just do what I tell you. I'm not taking any chances. I 
understand? That role is mine. I was born to play it. Somebody in this room ought to chill out, sister, and it ain't me. Look at the roles we want, we always do. I'm not just talking about my role in the play, Brian. I'm talking about my role in, like, the school. I'm not a jock, I'm not a brainiac, but you know what? I'm the star. That's my role. And if you're taking it away from me, who am I? Well, you could just be Sharpay. Are you brain dead? No one's gonna knock me from just Sharpay. But on stage, I can be Juliet. I can be Annie Oakley. I can be anyone I wanna be. Not just dumb old Sharpay. I need someone to make me fabulous, Ryan. I mean, come on. They name me after a flabby dog. Look, we've had the lead roles every year since birth. If we get it again, great. If not, we'll still be fabulous. Besides, it could be worse. They could have named you Pug, or Shih Tzu, or Sausage. I'm trying that thing. Well, maybe Troy would like you better if you were just yourself, you know? Pardon me, Dr. Phil, but what do you know? You're just a kid. I'm only eight minutes younger than you. But those are 80 part of minutes. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were in here. Hi, Troy. Did you come to ask if I could switch partners and audition with you? The answer is yes. Right, you're fired. Sean, eh? Hey? Um, no. Have you seen Gabrielle? Or we got to talk to her. Who? Forget it. Hey. Last time I saw her, she was in the theater. Like about ten minutes ago. Thanks, man. You're all right, man. How could you stab me in the back like that? Helping the enemy! I stabbed you in the back? Well, at least you admit it now. Take it from the top and lose those jet squares. about singing with you. So I said things, I knew we should have moved. The guy who ran on vacation played more me. The guy said those stupid things. Troy, the whole singing thing is driving the school nuts. You said it yourself. Everyone is treating you different because of it. I'm, you know, maybe I just want to be that basketball guy anymore. When I look in your eyes, I know I could be anyone I want to be. You are putting all these limits on me, you know. But your dad. This isn't about my dad. This is about how I feel. I'm not letting the team down, they're letting me down. I'm gonna sing, what about you? I don't know, Troy. It feels so right to be here with you, oh. Now looking in your eyes, I feel in my heart. The start of something new. <laughs> Living in my own world, didn't understand. When you take a chance I never believed in What I could see I never opened my heart To all the possibilities Oh, I know that something has changed Now I felt this way I know it's not real, this could be the sun 
we have to talk to our friends. Yeah, we have to tell our friends that we're going to do the callbacks after all. Well, let's hurry up already. We're burning daylight. <laughs> No, that's very No, this is important. Try and I have decided. Whatever it means. 